Welcome to this video of electrode potential of electrochemistry of class 12. Electrode potential is made up of two terms, electrode and potential. Electrode, the substance at the surface of which oxidation or reduction reaction takes place. And potential, potential is untrapped power. Potential is unused ability. Potential is dormant strength. Potential is hidden power. Now, let us discuss electrode potential. The tendency of the metal to lose or gain the electron when it is in contact with an electrolyte is called electrode potential. It is written as E and expressed as volt. It is an intensive property that is independent of the amount of species in the reaction. When metal rod loses electron, oxidation reaction takes place. That is like this. And potential developed between metal rod and solution is called oxidation potential. When metal ion gains electron reduction reaction takes place and potential developed between metal rod and solution is called reduction potential. The value of electrode potential depends on nature of the metal, concentration of the ions in solution and temperature. Now, a standard electrode potential. The potential difference developed between metal electrode and solution of ions of unit molarity at one atmospheric pressure and 25 degrees Celsius is called a standard electrode potential. It is written as E0. When oxidation reaction takes place, it is called a standard oxidation potential as written as E0 ox here ox stands for oxidation and when reduction reaction takes place it is called a standard reduction potential denoted as E0 red here red stands for reduction thus Potential developed between metal electrode and solution of ions of unit molarity at a standard condition is called electrode potential. Types of electrode potential. There are two types of electrode potential. Oxidation potential and reduction potential. Now let us define oxidation potential. The tendency of a metal to get oxidized is called oxidation potential. That is, tendency of a metal to lose electron is called oxidation potential. As for example, metal by oxidation converted into metal ion. As for example, zinc ion converted into zinc 2 plus by losing electron. Copper ion converted into copper 2 plus by losing 2 electron. So these are examples of oxidation potential. Now next is reduction potential. It is represented by E red. Here red stands for reduction. Thus the tendency of an ion to get reduced is called reduction potential. That is tendency of a metal ion to accept electron is called reduction potential. As for example, metal ion by accepting electron converted into metal solid. As for example, zinc 2 plus by accepting 2 electron converted into zinc solid. Metal. Cupric ion by accepting 2 electron converted into copper metal. According to IUPAC convention, Reduction potential is called electrode potential. It is quite clear from this discussion that 
द वैल्यू ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल एंड स्टैंडर्ड ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल इज सेम बट साइन इज अपोजिट एज फॉर एग्जाम्पल द वैल्यू ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल ऑफ कॉपर इज प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर वोल्ट एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ सेम मेटल दैट इज स्टैंडर्ड ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल ऑफ कॉपर इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर वोल्ट दस स्टैंडर्ड रिडक्शन पोटेंशियल इज इक्वल टू माइनस स्टैंडर्ड ऑक्सीडेशन पोटेंशियल Now let us define cell potential or electromotive force of a cell. In electrochemical cell, anode loses electron, that is oxidation takes place, and cathode accepts this electron, that is reduction takes place. Thus, anode rod pulls the electron, and cathode rod pulls the electron. by pushing and pulling a force is created called electromotive force thus the driving force for the flow of electricity is called electromotive force it is actually potential difference between two electrode of a cell that is a standard electrode potential of cell is the difference between a standard electrode potential at cathode and a standard electrode potential at anode that is e0 of cell that is cell potential is equal to a standard electrode potential at cathode minus a standard electrode potential at anode now what is the difference between electromotive force and potential difference so let us discuss about the difference between emf and potential difference emf is the difference in the electrode potential when no current flows through the cell on the other hand potential difference is the difference in the electrode potentials when current is flowing through the cell emf is the maximum voltage which can be obtained from the cell potential difference is less than the maximum voltage which can be obtained from the cell electromotive force is responsible for the flow of std current but potential difference is not responsible for the flow of std current electromotive force is measured by potentiometer but potential difference is measured by a voltmeter now let us solve some numerical problem a cell is set up between copper and silver electrode as follow if the two half cells work under standard conditions calculate the emf of the cell from the standard electrode potential value it is clear that copper acts as anode and silver acts as cathode thus A standard electrode potential of cell is equal to a standard electrode potential of cathode minus a standard electrode potential of anode. That is zero point eight zero minus zero point three four is equal to zero point four six volt. Now. Solve some question for homework. What is electrode potential? What is electromotive force of cell? what is the difference between emf and potential difference thank you for watching